Hello, my name is Hector George and I was a service user with Norfolk and Waveney Mind through all of 2019 and I've kind of been intermittently involved ever since. Uh, when I came to Norfolk and Waveney Mind it was sort of in a continuation of several years of dealing with mental health services. I had bounced around quite a few through my teen years in my hometown of Nottingham and I had just come to Norwich for university and had found myself at a very difficult point in my life. I was feeling very isolated and really struggling with a lot of symptoms that had been developing for a while. So I first spoke to my GP who referred me to a more crisis kind of service and then they, based off of a diagnosis they thought I had, referred me to a specialist team catered to that in mind. And what happened then is I was kind of taken on by them for a year-long recovery programme based specifically around the kind of symptoms that I'd been struggling with and had discussed with them. And within that year, I was given a very supportive space and through it being a supportive space, a space in which I could be challenged and challenge myself to look at some behaviours and some emotions that I had really struggled with for a long time now and had definitely had a detrimental effect on my life. So that in itself was a huge um, change for me. It was a big amount of progress I made in one year, which I hadn't for a very long time. I think without the support of Norfolk and Waverly Mind, without that year that I had had, it's hard to tell where I would be, but I definitely, even just while in that space, started to make some big positive decisions in my life that I wasn't making before. And I think also in the time we've had since that year, I've faced a lot of difficult uh, personal circumstances. And I think the ways I've responded to those and the ways I've managed myself through difficult times is in large part thanks to the skills I developed while I was there with mind. I think if I was to speak to anyone who was in my position um, at the start of this back in 2018, and they were feeling isolated, you know, with respect to the fact that everyone's experience of those feelings is completely different and you have different circumstances around you. From my own experience, what I can say is I see now that I fell into a trap when I became isolated of. I would assume for myself that the people and services around me weren't actually willing to help and weren't going to be there because I think in some sense that felt safer to me than actually taking the risk and making myself vulnerable by asking and then finding out potentially that they weren't there which would be even more harmful but in practice that's rarely the case and I think a lot of this is about when you're in that position challenging yourself to knock on every door to be vulnerable and to give people a chance to be there for you.